Hi, I'm Scott Stein. Happy holidays. You're looking for a Windows 8 laptop. What exactly do you buy? And that's a pretty confusing landscape with all these flip tops, and the safest bet tends to be, right now, a standard laptop with a touch screen. The price for a lot of these laptops has been centering around $700 as of late, and the Asus VivoBook S400CA offers that package for $700, a pretty good deal when you realize that it's got a Core i5 processor, 500 gigabyte hard drive, four gigs of RAM, and most importantly, a 14 inch touch screen with nice glass on edge to edge over here. Now, that sounds nice, but the battery life on this laptop's a little lacking. It's not as good as you would find on a lot of other Ultrabooks, and this really is a big boned Ultrabook. It's heavy, it's four pounds, which is more than you'd expect for something that looks like this, and it's a little thicker than you'd expect. It's in that 14 inch Ultrabook territory, lacking a DVD drive, which wouldn't be a deal breaker except for the fact that the Acer Aspire M5 I just recently reviewed has a DVD drive at the same price with a backlit keyboard. This one does not have a backlit keyboard and the overall feel is solid. It's a nice design, nice brushed metal feel on the back, two-tone black and silver, but it feels like a couple of corners have been cut when you compare it to a super slim laptop like the Zenbook, um, Acer's top of the line uh, Ultrabook category that came out over the past year. Uh, the VivoBook is a new class of laptop by name. This crazy VivoBook, what is that exactly does that mean? Well, it's basically a regular laptop with a new name, trying to emphasize the fact that there's a lot of touch involved here with the touch screen and a very large, pretty comfortable touchpad. Nothing like as good as a MacBook Air, in my opinion, but it's pretty good in the Windows 8 universe. All in all, it's an okay laptop. It's a pretty good value. It's a somewhat forgettable final product that definitely covers all the bases if you're looking for it, but I guarantee you're gonna find a lot of laptops like this out there at that price range. And by this time next year, that's going to seem like a lot of money for this. But even at the beginning of 2013, I think there are gonna be a lot of laptops coming out that are gonna offer similar value, maybe even better. If you feel my enthusiasm flagging just a little bit for this laptop, it's because we've seen a lot of these before. This touchscreen laptop, that's your standard issue right in that $700 price range. The Vivo book doesn't really rise above the competition and provide anything to write home about. But it's not a terrible deal if you happen to buy one. I'd hold out. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Asus Vivo book S400CA.